Hello there, Paul Trani here, and I want to show you the smart object support we have in Photoshop on the iPad. I'm actually starting out here on my desktop just to show you, of course, everything is made up of smart objects. That's how I usually work, sort of uh, maintain that high resolution uh, as I work on this, but I want to pick up that work on my iPad. So again, I'll just kind of switch over to my iPad, open up that same file with all those smart objects, and you guessed it. Off to the side, you can see all of these layers are smart objects. They get read in just fine to rasterize them. Now, keep in mind, it does say you can't really edit a smart object. It will actually convert it to layers if you want to edit it. So that is there. But you could also jump in and just add a clipped adjustment layer, just kind of brighten up that bear, for instance. And what you can also do uh, in Photoshop on the iPad is you can actually, let's go down to Select Subject, uh, mask this, and create smart objects as well from this flyout menu. Sure enough, convert to smart object because I want to keep that resolution of, uh, of, of this um, lovely little squirrel uh, since I might need to resize it later. But we'll kind of drop that in there like so as you can see and I can easily continue to work on this on the desktop as well. So check it out today, smart object support in Photoshop on the iPad. Thanks for watching.